Hi, I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing a vampire mansion in The Sims 4. The exterior for this house was based off of the haunted mansion at Disneyland, California. I wanted it to kind of have that same feel of like forgotten, abandoned, spooky a little and I thought that would be a perfect place for vampires to live. Well maybe not the perfect place but like they don't they won't, they don't want to be found and so like where else to live than somewhere abandoned and so we are just going to be going in, in the front entryway. Like again trying to keep this area very abandoned looking. I really wasn't sure how I wanted like the family to be if this would be just like a family kind of like blood related or if it would be like a family like in the Twilight Saga the Colons they just kind of became a family and so we are just going to be using a lot of different packs in this build. I really wanted to use the vampire pack obviously because vampires but I also want felt like I needed to use a pack that could kind of be a bridge between like the older stuff and the newer stuff and so I'm also going to be using some items from the get together pack. And so we are now just in the office space. I felt like this was just kind of a room that they kind of needed eventually. Maybe this could have been like a coat closet at one point. It is kind of a smaller room but I do want I was trying to make sure there's a computer in at least one part of the house. I probably could have put it like two computers in this house. I do have some more modern areas, but maybe this is just like the main vampire, the vampire that the, the landlord vampire, I guess that pays that has all of these rooms for vampires who are in hiding, and so maybe this is like a safe house for the vampires and so this house does have one bathroom on each level and I just felt like maybe that is a little bit historic there probably wasn't like that great of a desire to have a bathroom attached to the primary suite back in the day and so we are we do add a kitchen in to this house which I felt like kind of gave it m a more of a abandoned type of feel. Maybe like it really has the question of what happened to the staff in the house. Like is that full food in the fridge moldy? Like does it need to be cleaned out? Why hasn't that food be cleaned out? And so I did want to add some drapery into this area because I was kind of imagining maybe these vampires don't really want to remember their past life of eating food, being a food blogger possibly, and so we are just going to be adding these curtains, which I kind of like the, I feel like it was a little dramatic in a way, and so we are just going to be adding an island into this space and I just felt like having this like butcher block kind of gave it a different level kind of like made it look like okay this is like the work area for the uh, staff to work at to eat at and so we are just going to be adding a little plant in the center and I just liked how cute it looked I also wanted to use those corner cabinets specifically just because they didn't have the spices and the other like herbs on the corners and so we are just going to be adding some upper cabinets and okay I'm sorry this might be a little bit of like unpopular opinion but I feel a little bit surprised that we have upper and lower cabinets in a vampire pack and vampires don't really cook I mean they can cook if they want to like get their cooking skill up obviously but it's just kind of funny that like we don't have like upper cabinets for like the realm of magic like w wizards still need to eat and and so we are just going to be adding some spider webs just to make this room feel forgotten make this room feel abandoned and 
I do add cracks throughout the house. I just wanted to really heavily do it in here just to kind of give that feel of, yeah, this room is not being kept up. And I know I said earlier that this is based off of the Disneyland ride, the Haunted Mansion, which is mostly like the exterior because it's kind of hard to base a like real life ride into a virtual sim house. And so we are just going now into the banquet or the uh, dining room. I don't know why I keep saying banquet during all these takes. If this is not my first take, I am human and I have messed up a few times and so we are just going to be adding this area still. It's kind of more of like a hallway into uh, the living room area but I really wanted to have it in here still just to kind of maybe make this more of like a gathering space. And I do add these pictures from the get together pack maybe these are like the main leader vampire of this house in like these are the grandparents of the main leader and so the house got passed down to this vampire this main leader vampire and now we are in the living room space and i really try to have this area be very mixed with like older furniture like a nice big heart fireplace but like also having like a large tv and so we are just going to be uh, going and adding some mixture of these two items and i do use the giant tv from the to the living pack but i do keep that big picture of the stars i do just move it in to onto the opposite wall and I felt like having some bookshelves was going to be a good idea in this space. Like, these, they're vampires. They definitely have time to read, find a new novel, possibly. And so, I did want to add some different, like, gaming consoles. Because I get kind of like the books. It's like the vamp they're vampires. What else are they going to do? They're just going to sit there. They got time to build up some skill and so we are just going to be adding a foosball table into the corner i did want there to be some fun in the space for the sim so i tried to put some different fun items at least there's one fun item on each room and, or on each level probably not each room but it's just a dining room table in the adjacent room adjacent and so we are just going to be adding some of these Orient, ornate pictures. Going to be adding some spider webs. I do add the spider webs and the cracks into the rooms that do probably get more use than the kitchen, just because I felt like it would be kind of fun. It's like, oh, the kitchen or the staff will do the the sweep sweeping and the cobweb dusting, but. Who knows what happened to the staff? Maybe leave your ideas down below of what happened to this staff in this house. And so we are just going to be adding those cracks. And I uh, do place one specific item on each level of the house. So if you spot which item it is please leave it down in the comments i'll give you a hint it is on the wall and so we are now in the first bedroom on the second level so there's three bedrooms on the second level and three more bedrooms on the third level and i wanted this area to feel very ornate maybe this could be like the main leader of the household's bedroom it does have a balcony into the like wraparound porch and so we are just going to be adding some curtains to get out that nasty sun and going to be adding some more pictures i feel like this room should be a little bit more traditional a little bit more in the past but i do add items in other bedrooms that are more designed for like teens of this day and so just going to be adding some cracks and going to be adding 
all of the different kind of wear and tear items. They are free and so I did have a little bit of an incentive to get these pictures and or the, these cracks onto the room just to make it have that old abandoned feel and it's free so we are just going to be going into a second living space and for some reason the railings disappeared and so I just added a, another wall. I feel like it kind of looked a little bit better, kind of gave it a more closed off feel and in older houses they do have that type of floor plan and so we are just going to be adding some couches from base game. I feel like this area should be a little bit more modern, a little bit more simplistic, and so we are just going to be adding these couches from the base game along with these side tables, and we are just going to be adding a rug, a little bit more on ornate, because I just wanted to use that rug, I feel like the blues kind of went well with each other, and now we are just going to be adding a light some different color items. I don't know if vampires need tissues, but they, they maybe just like just a decoration item for for them at this point. And so I did want to add a stack of board games because, I, like I said, with the foosball table and the gaming console downstairs, it's like they have nothing else to do, so they might as well play Don't Wink the Llama or some card games. And so we we're just going to be adding some more cracks going to be adding some actual pictures, some things that cost money in the game. The cracks and the wares don't cost money. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, this is a long video and I'm kind of forgetting what I'm saying in the past and so we are just going to be adding a picture from City Living but I do change that picture if I remember correctly and so we are just going into the second bedroom of this house and I was mentioning that this would either be for a child or a si vampire that was like had dreams of working on their family farm but then they somehow became a vampire but they still kind of had that like farm style that like kind of more rustic style. I also felt like that bed frame on the back was pretty fitting for like the older style meets the newer style and so we are just going to be adding a dresser going to be adding this fun rug and going to be adding a table for like a desk area because like i wasn't sure if like the child vampire would need to have a workspace or if like maybe this is like a young adult sim that needs maybe a workspace too, maybe just like a place to, I don't know, do their makeup, I, but we are just going to be going and adding some items from the horse ranch. This is like a pretty much a horse ranch themed bedroom except for the windows, doors, floors are all from the vampire pack and so we are just going to be adding these curtains and going to be uh, just finishing up this area. I kind of forgot to add skirt or add these lights, and so I wanted to make sure that there were side table lights. And we we're just going to be adding that wear and tear. I also thought there should be some board games, and going to be adding just some little decorations. I guess I did design this room to be more for a kid with like the barn and with that little decoration on the table and so this may yeah this is definitely a space for them to work on their homework and so we are just going to be adding just a few more details in to that room and going into the third be bedroom of the second level which is the dream bedroom which and i was imagining that this area would be for a bookworm who's maybe in university or just graduated university and so I wanted it to have this like wall of books it just it looked cool to me to have just like this floor to ceiling wall of books and so 
we are just going to be adding a little seating area in front of this. We're going to be using items from the high school years pack and I felt like this bed was just kind of fun, kind of fit went throughout the ages in this area and so or the decades on ages and I felt like it was just kind of fun maybe it kind of reminds me of like 50s um, almost I don't, I don't know exactly why but it's kind of that like glam era and so we are just going to be adding the matching dresser I guess I don't know if that's like actually matching but wanted to keep it kind of more in a darker color scheme for this house kind of letting the walls do most of the color talking and the books and so we are just going to be adding these cushions that match the bed and I just felt like this room came together pretty well. I do put those chairs out on the balcony of the and so you can like see those on the front of the house. Maybe these this sim that like knows they need to hide because they're a vampire but they don't really want to hide so they're like hey I'm just going to put some chairs out there and like I'll phone the other night like nobody's going to see me va being a vampire and so we are just going to be trying to figure out kind of a personality for this sim trying to like find some interest for this sim you can obviously get rid of this if you don't want them to be into music or other items maybe maybe not have them be a bookworm and so we are just going to have a pile of clothes i just thought that was just kind of a fun detail of like making the room a little bit messy and going to just be going on to the outside for some reason i couldn't like grab the chairs and so we are just going to be adding a little megaphone maybe these sims actually in high school and they were on the true team and so we are just going to be changing the chairs around here to be different from the swinging chairs and i did want to add a basket just i don't know felt very cozy just to have like a basket of blankets with like the books and like a chair and so we are just going to be changing out that picture like i said and I just sized this one up from the cottage living pack. I feel like one of the reasons why I used this picture specifically is because that bank blanket basket is also from cottage living. So if you don't have cottage living, I'm pretty sure those are the only two items I used. But if you don't have cottage living and you do have another pack, let me know down in the comments and I can build a house specifically around that pack if you would like me to i would love to hear if you have any build restrictions for me and so we are just going to be going into this bathroom level i don't show the uh, bathroom on the third floor because i feel like showing two bathrooms is pretty good and i don't know if you would want to see a third bathroom that i uh, pretty much just like this bathroom with like the top with like the counter and the decorations the tub and so we are just going to be going and adding those details although it took me a while so i just kind of plopped them down there and we are just going to be making this area have some wear and tear and going to be going and finishing up this level and now we are on the third and final level and when I designed this house I had to do two takes because my game crashed and I didn't save so I was very vigilant of saving my builds. I now started to save my builds frequently throughout the building process. I don't know, I don't feel like my game crashes that much and so I just kind of don't remember to save it always and so Vampires can sleep in coffins, and so if you just are like, wait, where's the bed? I thought the bed is a coffin. This is the one sim in this house that takes being a vampire seriously. And I wanted this other bedroom to be pretty in pink. Maybe it's to be like a girly girl or a sim that just loves pink and wanted to embrace that. I did want to use items from the new kit 
and so we are just going to be adding some pictures and I just this room is basically just a room for the pack I get kind of like the horse ranch bedroom if like I could if you just change the wallpaper and the flooring then this is basically a bedroom for only using the new kit I forgot the name but it's a like luxury bedroom or something and so we are just going to be adding a little desk I liked how this one had like a mirror so they could like see themselves or maybe they can't see themselves yeah vampires can't see themselves but I don't know if that's the same in the sims and so we are just going to be adding some items on the shelf and going to just be cluttering the desk area up with some makeup I felt like even make even though maybe the sim can't see themselves they can still like apply makeup I know of a blind girl who is bl who applies makeup herself and her name is Molly Burke if I feel like I've mentioned her a few times but she's blind so maybe if maybe that that molly burke is this vampire's inspiration to put on makeup if she can't see herself then this vampire and this vampire is like hey i can't see myself either in the mirror and uh, so i did add a t one of those like cool tv pictures from this luxury ba bedroom kit and it's probably be kind of fun that is not the item where it's on every level tv there are there's a tv on every level but that's not the item i was t talking about and we are in the final room of this house we are going to be going back around the second and first level and going to be adding some stuff around the wraparound porch but this is the final room of the house which i was imagining would be maybe for a team or a teen or maybe a sports fan and so we are just going to be adding these cool lights from the uh, high school years pack and going to be adding just more lights i have like these candles in every single room but i felt like to give it some more modernism to have some different like lights that you would plug into a wall and so we are just going to be adding a guitar i'm just trying to think of like something else for the sim to be interested in and like let's just add a guitar add another like skill building item and so we are just going to be adding some like moving post movie posters and of course the cracks and tears in the wall can't really see the cracks on the walls because this is a darker wallpaper which may be nice and so we are just going to be adding some curtains i couldn't find exactly what i wanted to use and i do end up using this one from the base game that just kind of blends in with the wallpaper which may be nice maybe they don't want to find the window i guess and so we are just going to be uh, finishing up some pictures and i felt like this picture from the get together pack would fit well with the, some of these more music items that I have in the green bedroom on the second floor and just going to be adding a picture here on the hallway and going to be adding some items on the wraparound balcony. I didn't try to like overly clutter this just because I didn't maybe I was thinking that the vampires wouldn't want to be seen that much outside but it is a very shaded area this is the kind of world i built it in is a very shady and dark and so we do have a basketball hoop again just a very simple things around the exterior of this house and so i do add the card table from the grilling together pack and just going to be adding some more benches around the uh, porch area and going to be adding a swing set so we are getting close to the screenshots so i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you want to play in this house the information 
will be down in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I would love to get to 55 subscribers by the end of the year. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it would mean a lot to me. And so we are just going to be adding some gardening boxes for some plasma fruit and going to be heading into the screenshots. So I hope to see you all next week for a another Simstar video. And I hope you all have an amazing week and I hope to see you all next week. So see you later. Bye.